This were written by Stephen Greenblatt. This is a story about ancient scrolls, old libraries, how books are made, the paper they're written on, and most of all about an old, old uh, poem that was found in 1417 by uh, Poggio Bracciolini, who was a scripter as well as a copyist. He was out of work at the moment. He had worked for the Pope. He was the secretary to the Pope, but the Pope had been arrested and imprisoned. So he went book hunting, as many others were doing at the time. On a southern Germ German dusty monastery bookshelf, he found an old, old uh, piece of literature uh, written by a Roman Lucretius. It contained, it had not been in circulation probably for about a thousand years. And there was one very important piece of information in there that uh, matter contained tiny particles. The smallest unit of existence is the atom. And he was very excited about this find. But it makes you wonder if this piece of work was done a thousand years earlier, how old is knowledge like that? Um, the author puts a lifetime of work into a very readable format for the reader, and he goes into the Alexandrian library, the people who compiled all the scrolls for it, and actually the library was an extension of their museum there. Um, he talks about uh, the people and the fact that their philosophy was Epicurean, what that is, um, they, the gods they worshipped, and really what happened to all those great works. And that's where Christianity comes up. Um, the pagan uh, religion is, and Christianity did not, uh, was not comfortable side by side together, and eventually the Christians just overtook that. It was not the knowledge that the Christians went after, but the fact that they were pagan gods. Um, there's much, much history in this. Um, I, I began to understand what the Dark Ages were when all those uh, scrolls were dispersed, destroyed, um, and all that by the Christians, uh, Europe enters the Dark Ages. And I never really quite comprehended that. When Poggio came across um, this uh, work by the Roman poet uh, Lucretius, others were book hunting too, and that would be the Renaissance, when they were beginning to take in this, old, trying to find this old knowledge that had just disappeared with time. Very, very, um, good piece of work. I hope you take the time to enjoy it.